Hello and welcome to another Yakuza 5 100% Trophy Guard video. In this video we're going to talk about golf. So golf's pretty interesting on this game. Uh, for most, for the most part you got targets at the far end of the course. Uh, keep an eye on wind power. Um, if there's wind you're going to want to watch out for that. Essentially it plays a bit like actual golf from back in the day. So the tee goes up. However much power you want to put onto it, click, and then on the way back down, click it where you uh, want it to go. So if you where that pink bar is, that's a perfectly straight shot. If you hit it to the side of that, then it's slightly off center. Uh, there's two holes there at the ground. You can see with the flags in. They are worth uh, 200 points, I think. So technically it's better to get those than it is for the 100 points. For the beginner course, I would aim at the 100 point marker because it's just easy. Um, you just full swing pretty much. Just get it on target and you should be fine. So that's the beginner course. The intermediate course uh, introduces slight wind. And again, um, just adjust your angle slightly for the wind. You'll get used to it, trust me. You give it a few goes on it with the wind, you'll you'll see what I mean. So if it's like blowing left, you want to hit to the right a little bit. Uh, just to counteract it. So with the advanced course, um, the targets all flip when they've been hit. So what you want to do actually here is hit the holes in the ground. So with the holes in the ground, you're going to have to practice this. But once you nail one in, that is the exact shot that you need to keep repeating. So give it a test with um, sort of lighter hits. So try and get your range first. And then once you've got your range, you can work out kind of if you need it to be left, if you need it to be right. Like here. So two mile an hour wind. I've gone for minus six degrees. Gone for a little tap. Is it nailed it? It's nailed it. There you go. So that's exactly what you want to keep doing. With that amount of power. And try and hit it exactly the same each time. In it goes. So this kind of makes it a lot easier to succeed. But for, for the later ones, for the advanced course. And I think there's an expert course in there. A pro course. So you'll really have to... Uh, You'll have to get them in the uh, the little hole as much as possible in those, because so like some of the targets I think are I think it might be sixteen hundred in the pro course or something like that. So you definitely have to go for the holes in one rather than the board, uh, the backwards board the the board at the back. Sorry, can't speak. But yeah, as, as you can see, if you get a bit of consistency, you, you know how wide it needs to be. Once you've done it once. And then you just need to focus on using that same power over and over again. So it might just be a little tap, and then you're back. It might be, you know, a full swing or whatever. It just depends on the course. But the later courses with the wind gets a bit crazy. Um, but I think it stays the same throughout, so that's... Definitely a bonus for each shot. So yeah, you, you just have to try and predict on your first shot if that's the one. The thing is, with the next, um, if you fail and then you restart it, the wind will have changed. So it's, it's, you kind of have to uh, get it right in the first couple of shots. If you get it right in the first couple of shots, then you can actually make up the the difference easily I think well hopefully easily so I've, I've decided to go for the further away one now because that one nearby wasn't working oh that was just so sly in off the uh, in off the flagpole but yeah this this one's again quite tricky so I'm gonna have to lower that a little bit but you see what I mean uh, visually like trying to hit it a certain distance, trying to get it the right sort of 
uh, direction and trying to get it the right distance. It's it's a hard uh, balance to strike. But I think most of the courses, apart from the pro course, are pretty easy in terms of points. So I messed that one up again. So you need about 20... 25% maybe less that's the kind of look we're going for 20 23% but you'll get used to it I mean it takes it's it's not one of those things that you'll just do immediately but it's not incredibly difficult but yeah I think I think you only need like 800 for the advanced course or a thousand or something so we'll see what score I get because obviously it, it works that must be 800 <laughs> On the dot. That's the one. Should be. What? Cannot believe it. Or maybe it's 600. I don't know. It was, it was, it was pretty low for these ones. Beautiful. It might have been 800. I can't remember. But yeah, the pro course is the really difficult one. You got wind of 9 miles an hour going up and right. But you can't be aiming for the backboard. You have to be aiming for the flags so a little bit of a, a change there it's it shouldn't be too bad but two degree change in angle check the pace if it lands it lands if not you gotta adjust a little bit more so a little bit less power same area perfect so that's what we're doing again might be too little power there, I don't know. Yeah, just just too low, so you need it 12%, 13%, or 15% maybe. So that's hopefully... Hopefully this helps you, like just visualizing it. Because it's, uh, it is, it is tricky to get used to. But that should be the one. I think you need 1600 on the pro course. You get 15 shots. Um... That's, that should be perfectly fine. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Take care and peace out. それ。うん、いいね。乗ってきた。<笑>